guys, it's Chris here with Ronald Sachs Violins coming from the Peachtree City Store um, with you live today. A um, couple of things we wanted to talk about. Um, first thing is, I know we're all anticipating the launch of our new web store and uh, it is coming soon. Um, our, our website, RonaldSachs.com, is live, but our, uh, our new store, uh, online products and uh, rentals, uh, will be coming to you very soon. We're going through a uh, a transition to a new platform right now and we'll be bringing that to you as soon as it's available. Um, so today's focus is uh, uh, tone production, uh, bow arm weight uh, here on the cello. Uh, as a cellist I'm going to uh, demonstrate this for you. Got a couple of cool exercises that I like to use with my students uh, to um, have kind of a fun way of practicing um, getting all of that heavy arm weight into the cello to make the biggest sound that we can. Um, this is not always the easiest thing to do, but it takes, uh, takes a lot of focus and, um, and, and practice to, uh, to be able to do this consistently. Um, the, uh, the biggest thing going into this is to make sure that uh, we have a relaxed bow grip, that we have a relaxed arm, and we're not using uh, our shoulder to produce this. We want to make sure that we're, we're producing uh, the, the weight naturally. So we're, we're, we're dropping the arm into the instrument. Um, and so some of these exercises may be um, uh, maybe a little intimidating. You might be scared you're going to break something or hurt your cello, but at the end of the day they, they, they work very well for what we're trying to accomplish. So um, our end goal is to produce a big heavy cello sound from the frog all the way to the tip and then from the tip all the way to the frog. And to be able to do this consistently, we have to have uh, an even amount of weight distribution in the bow. Um, not pressure, we're not pushing, we're not pulling, it's, it's weight. Um, playing cello, we have the advantage of being able to use gravity very well. And, um, and the, the first exercise that I like to do is something that I call the creaky door. Um, this is a, an exercise that produces a sound that really can only be um, produced by using uh, a really heavy, um, really heavy natural weight in the arm. So the way that we start is I, I, I like to sort of make sure my wrist and uh, bow grip are nice and relaxed here on the bow. And then we drop the bow um, just in front of the right hand, right? Just in front of the bow grip. And so we have a nice straight bow. We've got nice flat hair here. Our arm is relaxed. We're not holding our shoulder up. We're just sort of nice and loose. And then with all that weight in the bow, we're gonna twist. And hopefully you can hear this over the camera, but it should produce this sort of um, eerie, sort of, like I said, creaky door sound. And once we do that a few times and we have this sound, the next step is to create that, but then actually draw the bow. So you can hear how big that sound is. If we don't do it, then you don't really hear a whole lot, and we get kind of this um, this sort of feathery, airy sound, right? So again, drop the weight, and you can do it kind of heavy, right? Our bow can our bow can handle that, or our cello can handle that. Twist the bow, draw the bow. Make sure you got a nice, long, full bow all the way to the tip. Okay. And that's the creaky door. So you should experiment with that at home and see what sort of uh, big cello sounds you can produce. Now, for the tip, this is uh, both a tone production exercise and it's also a bow control exercise. And it can actually also benefit um, how we utilize our arm when we're, um, when we're trying to add weight to the tip, right? Again, it's not a push, it's not a pull. We don't bring our shoulder up, but we do utilize a little bit of a, a, a twist in our wrists and our elbow, okay? And the way that we do this is it, it sort of uses the leverage of our arm to, uh, to create a sort of rotational energy that adds uh, additional weight to the tip. So I'm pushing down my left hand here just by sort of gradually picking up my right. And so I end up in this sort of waving motion. So if you can see how my, my elbow is coming up and my wrist is nice and flexible, this is adding weight here to the tip. So if you can see the bow here, I'm, I'm uh, creating some energy here in the bow by depressing the stick onto the hair. OK? 
Okay, and so if I do this on the on the cello, just in the middle, right, it's sort of an up and down thing. But at the tip, this can be a little bit more challenging because our arm is more extended. But what we have to feel is almost like we're rotating here, but we're, our, we're keeping our wrist nice and low. Nothing like this here, okay? And the exercise has to do with this position. So from here at the tip, we basically rotate our forearm, almost like opening a gate to a parking garage. You just rotate nice and straight, and then we want to drop the bow with control and have it land on the tip with minimal to no bounce. So here's the wrong way to do it. No control, no weight in the finger. No, uh, no weight in the index finger or the thumb, right? So if we set this up again, and then I drop this the proper way, you can see how the bow just stops in his tracks. And that's because I've transferred that weight from my arm all the way to the tip of the bow. And what this does is it sets us up for this big full up bow sound. So once again, to set this one up, okay, you can get your bow to the tip, make sure that arm is comfortable, rotate the wrist nice and straight, keep it in the same line there. And then as we come down with some energy, we engage that weight from the arm. And then we get a nice full up bow sound. So when we put the two together, we get a nice strong uh, down bow with the creaky door. And we get a nice strong up bow with the guard gate exercise. So hopefully those two things will give you guys something to, to work on, um, to utilize in your own practice. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment on the video or uh, uh, reach out to us uh, via our website, rollinsax.com, and uh, shoot us an email. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll be in touch soon.